Live has default settings for tracks and devices. You could either use those or create your own ones if that helps you to get started on music creation as quickly as possible. Let's take a look at the default settings. Loading an audio or MIDI track or a device from the device icon will load them in a default state. However, you can also create tracks and devices with your own default state. Creating a default audio or MIDI track can be achieved by loading the device in the audio or MIDI track accordingly and then right clicking to save as default. So let's say for example I would like to have an EQ8 on my audio tracks. I will load the device accordingly and then right click on the top of the track and select save as default. Now if I load a new audio track, it will appear with the EQ8 that we just chose. Defaults for audio tracks and MIDI tracks can differ from each other. However, they cannot be set for the return and the master tracks. Now to change the default settings of a device, change the parameters that you would like to change first and then right click on the device to select save as default from the menu. So if I would like to have a low cut on my EQ8, I will choose the parameter accordingly and then I will right click on the top of the device and choose save as default. If I now load a new EQ8 on a different track, it will appear with the low cut that we just selected. To change the default settings of a live set, add the audio MIDI return tracks and the devices that you would like to have and go to preferences under the tab file folder where you can select Save Current Set as Default. Default live sets can be cleared at any time from the preferences in live. 